Good afternoon, it's Hobo Yeti coming at you just, uh, I guess, east of Clarksville. I've decided to carry on with the walk. Uh, I was getting really depressed, uh, and the, the thought of staying in, you know, or going to Raleigh, Durham, just didn't appeal to me. Um, you know, I haven't really reached any of the goals that I have uh, set myself for this walk, uh, and mainly, you know, losing weight. Um, you know, I was 300 pounds when I started, which is a lot. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm at now. I mean, I've gained a lot of muscles in my legs and, and, you know, I guess now my back, since I'm packing it, uh, backpacking it. Um, but, um, you know, I'm just going to keep on going until I can't go anymore. You know, I'll, I'll force gump it and then, you know, get in the middle of the desert and be like, I'm going home, you know? Um, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, right now the goal is just to get through Virginia, out of Virginia. I was doing good when I when I had the cart, uh, when I could just walk without any any kind of stress on my body. I, you know, got up to 12 miles. I'm pretty proud about that. But then the cart just went kaput. Uh, right now I'm uh, backpacking it, and the pack is okay. It could be a little lighter. Um, I have a feeling the next couple of weeks I'll be packing it and. I'll, I'll gain the musculature, uh, back muscles, leg muscles for it. Uh, and so it'll be easier. I'm about, you know, I can do about eight miles a day at the most, right? Six or seven is probably what I can do right now. Um, but I'm getting used to it. Um, I, I've, I've cut down my pack a lot. Um, but like just holding it here, like here, this is my pack, uh, empty pack. It still feels heavy, and I don't know why, really. Uh, it's probably just the pack itself is, you know, I had to go through it and cut out a lot of big pieces of plastic and just, you know, all this all this stuff that's not really needed for a pack. Uh, I mean, the, the solar panels got have batteries in them, and they, they weigh a little bit. but uh, And I guess they weigh more now because I'm just tired. I just, I just hiked uh, three or four miles. I'm tired. Uh, it's not that I walked three or four miles. It's that, you know, the last getting here from South Hill was just basically trudgery and, uh, you know, trying to find a place with water and then, you know, uh, anyway, but, uh, as you'll notice, I, I also cut my hair, did a hobo cut, basically, uh, scissors and a, ra a couple of razors. Uh, and, uh, it's good. Uh, you know, it, when, when I got the haircut, it, w it was getting really hot. And so I cut, you know, I wanted to alleviate since I get overheated and stuff. Uh, but then it started getting cooler. <laughs> like as soon as I cut my hair, it, start, it dropped down to like 39 that night, uh, which is not a big deal. Uh, I do miss the camouflage. Uh, when I have white hair, people tend to look at me and they don't really look at me. Uh, like now they look at, they, they take more notice. I wear my hat now. Uh, when I'm walking for the most part, I, I pretty much wear it all the time. It's just a great way of keeping, keeping the sun off my face and, uh, keeping the sweat <laughs> higher up, you know? Um, but, uh, when I have the white hair, you know, cops will look at me and then look, see the white hair and just, you know, I'm, I'm, they see me as no threat or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the look I get when I was younger, when I have, when I, when I have the, the no hair, I tend to look that they're like, huh, okay then they start taking down more details, you know? Um, but with the white hair, they're like, eh, harmless. Uh, I like to look at myself as mostly harmless. Um, like Douglas Adams, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, right? Uh, mostly harmless, the human race. But anyway, uh, I'm out and about. Um, I don't have any food and, uh, I've got no water left, um, so I need to head into town. I don't really want to, but I did dry out all my stuff for the most part. Uh, I'm going to leave my tent up here. Uh, it's kind of in one of those places that not super easy to get to, but the road is, you know, close by, whatever. The thing is, is like, <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 put, I, I gave you guys my rules of the road. But, you know, depending on the circumstances, you know, rules are meant to be broken. And in this case, I think it's safe enough. I'm going to be gone for probably an hour. Uh, I'm going to hit the library in town, upload this video. Um, I'm going to uh, get some groceries, some water, and, you know, 
uh, it's about a mile in and then a mile back. Uh, I'll hit two, three stores and a library. And then, uh, and then I, I don't plan on moving. I plan on laying in my tent and just crying. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just painful, uh, you know, walking from South Hill with my pack, even though I got it, you know, uh, manageable, uh, it's still heavy, you know, on muscles that are used to doing nothing, uh, not really carrying any kind of weight except my own, right? Uh, it's painful. Uh, and, and, you know, walking eight miles like I did yesterday, that was, you know, I, I got to a point where about five or six miles in and I was like, okay, well, my back's not hurting anymore, but my feet are killing me. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, the, the, the pack puts a lot of weight on your, your legs, your knees and everything. And I started, like when I started packing, I was like, wow, like, like my, my, my leg muscles, like my, uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, anyway, the upper leg muscles underneath, you know, and the quad and, and it was just, it was just painful. Uh, and it's like, I was going to just take off out of town and trying to figure that out with because there's it's going to rain uh, Sunday all day and I don't want to have to deal with that last night I was next to a 7-eleven like in the woods stealth camping and it was like a swamp there and there were so many mosquitoes and it was just horrible um, but anyway uh, I did want to mention something I mean uh, I don't know like I know that this is a walk across America video uh, or walk to drop diet, take your pick. Um, but, um, you know, also it, my, I guess my channel is, is more about, as you guys have seen, I'm sure, uh, is, is more about depression and hopelessness and trying to deal with that. Uh, like for me getting older, that, that's really been a, uh, you know, I, I've just had so much depression, you know, and, uh, you know, the funny thing is, is you know, people say, Oh, I have ADHD. And everybody's like, oh, or I've got this, or I've got that. When you say you have depression, they're like, you just need to eat better, or you need to exercise, or just think happy thoughts. And it's just, um, it, it, the fact that it's even, even we could throw the word clinical in front of it, call it clinical depression, um, you know, but people still tend to think it's just being depressed. And uh, it's just not. <laughs> and so, uh, that's frustrating, but uh, I deal with depression on a daily basis. The, the walking actually really helps me, uh, and you know there are triggers. Uh, to, you know, like there are triggers for me going into a, a, a depression kind of state. So I can I can not be depressed and have depression, but I can also be depressed or anxious, and then that leads into depression a lot of times. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what my channel is really about. It's coping with that and, uh, um, seeing, seeing how the walk helps, seeing how losing weight helps, you know, cause you know, being 300 pounds, I started out this walk when I was 300 pounds, actually I was 299 pounds. I weighed myself and, uh, yeah, it's like a third of my body weight is just overweight. And the problem with that is, you know, I, I carry it off pretty well. I'm six two. And, uh, so I can, I can wear, I can cover up and I can wear, you know, dress my body type. Um, but, uh, the thing is, is, um, you know, I just miss, like, I, I don't have as, as much energy. I'm tired a lot more. Uh, my diet sucks. Um, it's just, it's just not a, uh, you know, I don't want to continue that. You know, I, I gained probably, you know, I don't know, 80 or 90 pounds when I was 28 years old. Up until then, I was like 180, 200 pounds. Uh, that was it. I'd like to get back to that because I want to feel good about myself and I want to have that energy level, you know? And so if it means crying every day, um, I, metaphorical crying most days, <laughs> uh, but like, you know, walking, walking till I drop, basically, that's what I'm doing every day. And uh, that's why I don't have a whole lot of videos uh, showing you my, my gear and, you know, doing that fun stuff on the road. Because it's not fun, honestly. It's, it's kind of miserable, honestly. Uh, there, there is a couple that's walking from, right now, they're walking from Maine to Key West, I believe it is. And they're still in Maine, I think. 
uh, it's the Golden Road with two G's. Um, you can check them out. They're they're pretty fun. They're pretty upbeat. They're very social media friendly, unlike myself. Um, but uh, which is why I haven't really done anything with like Facebook or uh, Instagram or uh, what is it, Snapchat. Um, you know, I just don't have the energy. I don't have the data to do it either. And when I get, when I do get to a library, like I'm just, you know, I'm you know catching up on Marco Polo's with the family, uh, uploading a video or, or just checking stuff out, and then I'm back on the road. And then no internet. The only the only time I get online is when I'm checking the my radar app, which I have, which shows me where the actual clouds are. Because if it says it's going to rain, it's going to be fifty percent rain. That just means 50% of the area. And I'd like to know if that area is corresponding with where I'm walking. Um, and then Google Maps, you know, I need that uh, to kind of see what's what's going on ahead of me. And and a lot of times I just want to see, like, like I'll, I'll, I'll go walking for, you know, feels like five miles and I'll check Google Maps and it'll be like, you've walked 75 feet, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Uh, but it, you know, it helps me gauge how, how, how long I have to go. Like if it's a mile and a half, I can do a mile and a half, unless it's at the end of the day where I've just walked six or seven miles and I, I you know, I don't have the energy for that. So anyway, I'm going to keep on walking. Uh, the next, uh, big stop is, uh, well, not big stop, but the next city, this is Clarksville. Uh, the next stop, 20 miles away, 22 miles away or so, is South Boston. Uh, there's really not much in between here and there uh, as far as water. I did test my water filtration system to see how that's going to be. Uh, and so far, uh, it, it, I tested out in the reservoir back there, and so far it worked. So uh, if I can find a, like, I don't, I don't trust really any standing water, but like, I mean, if I got desperate, I guess I could do standing water, but, uh, uh, any kind of burbling stream kind of thing, that's more my speed for, uh, getting, you know, water. But anyway, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, I gotta get into town. It's about three o'clock and, uh, it's gonna take me about an hour to get there and back, maybe a little longer. I'm exhausted. I am bone weary. Uh, going up there is not going to be too terrible, but coming back is going to be hard. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm tired and my feet hurt. And this, this past four or five days of walking, I've been really pushing it. And so I'm really looking forward to getting back here and just not doing anything. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope your road is a good one. Hope you're signing off.